What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now last night Bungie streamed the raid along of the King's Fall raid. The stream featured Deej, designer Brendan Thorne and writer Jill Scar. Me being a complete and utter idiot, I missed it. It was actually one of the few streams I actually wanted to watch and I wanted to watch it live but having now caught up on it the stream itself was actually okay and if I can find a link and you guys do want to watch the whole thing I will link it in the video description now we made a video reviewing the stream it's news that came out of that stream which is what this video is all about now like I said I missed the initial stream but you guys on Twitter were clear in stating they mentioned something of a new raid so I had to go back and catch it from the stream, a raid designer stated, can I tell them about the new raid, where Deej replied, absolutely not, which obviously was bound to be his answer. Now most of the times these streams fathom up something crazy and leave the community talking, and this was no different, but in my opinion, a raid, a new raid was bound to come, and come with the next major expansion they promised towards the end of the year, which they have stated will be the biggest since the Taken King, which wouldn't really be hard seeing as we've only had minor events since the Taken King, as well as the April update, which is already starting to become a little dry, and already has dried out for many people, which is understandable. So this new raid, what do we know about it? Well, absolutely fuck all. But what do we want from it? Oh, very, very much. For me, a new raid is exciting, but it's the things that come with this update or expansion which I enjoy and get excited for more. Things like new gear, new weapons, new exotics and new story. I want content that's going to last. I want them to stretch out this content so it does last. I don't want them to just pile on all this new shit with us and within a week people have already literally completely rinsed it out and then the game becomes dry again for them. I don't want that shit. But from an actual raid, all I'd want is for Bungie to introduce it against an enemy race we haven't fought before in a raid. We've had Vex within the Vault of Glass, we've had Hive within Cross's End, we've also had Taken within the King's Fall. But here's a question for you, would Bungie class the POE as a Fallen event? Although it contains beasts from many races, in reality it is actually Fallen. Hopefully they won't and we'll continue to think that we do want to see a Fallen raid eventually. Me personally, I'd probably prefer that over a Cabal raid. Although a Kabul raid would be great and I suppose the story that would come with it would I guess be better for us as we know a lot about the Fallen and in my opinion we know more about the Fallen than we do about the Kabul. A race that actually fears us. So yes actually thinking about it, a Kabul raid probably would be better all round. I'm just thinking about them Kabul bosses that we have in game now. I mean most of them are enormous already which is why I'd love to see a Fallen boss via a raid. Imagine a 100 foot Arkham Priest where you have to basically avoid these stamps and work a puzzle. That'd be absolutely epic. But to be honest, either Fallen or Cabal, I'd be happy with. But like I said, as long as with the raid they do something to stretch the content so it don't get dry in a week, I'd be completely happy. But guys, tell me down below in the comment section what would you prefer, Cabal or Fallen? Let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I'd appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!